our principal sir, professor, Mrs. Samuelinga, our bishop, guests, teachers, parents, and my fellow students. Trist with Destiny was a speech made by Jawaharlal Nehru, the first Prime Minister of Independent India. The speech was made to the Indian Constituent Assembly on the eve of India's independence. Long years ago, we made Trist with Destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge, not wholly or in full measure, but very substantially. At the stroke of midnight hour, when the world it is fitting that, at this solemn moment, we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and the people and to the still larger cause of humanity. The achievement we celebrate today is but a step, an opening of opportunity to the greater triumphs and achievements that await us. Are we brave enough? and wise enough to grasp this opportunity and accept the challenge of the future. That future is not one of ease or resting, but of incessant striving, so that we may fulfill the pledge we have so often taken and the one we shall take today. The service of India means the service of millions who suffer. It means the ending of poverty and ignorance and disease and inequality of opportunity. The ambition of the greatest man of our generation has been to wipe every tear from every eye. That may be beyond us, but as long as there are tears and sufferings, so long our work will not be over. And so we have to labor and to work and work hard to give reality to our dreams. Those dreams are for India, but they are also for the world, for all the nations and peoples are too closely knit together today for anyone of them to imagine that it can live apart. Peace has been said to be indivisible. So is freedom, so is prosperity now, and so also is disaster in this. One world that can no longer be split into isolated fragments. We have to build a noble mansion of free India where all the children may dwell. The appointed day has come, the day appointed by destiny, and India stands forth again. After long slumber and struggle, away, wiped, free, and independent, the past clings onto us, still in some measure. And we have to do much before we redeem the pledge we have so often taken. Yet, the turning point is past, and history begins anew for us. The history which we shall live and act and others will write about. It is a fateful moment for us in India. A new star rises, the star of freedom in the East. A new hope comes into being. A wish and long cherished materializes. May the star never set and the hope never be betrayed. We rejoice in that freedom. We are citizens of a great country on the verge of bold advance and we have to live up to that high standard. All of us, to whatever religion we may belong, are equally the children of India with equal rights, privileges and obligations. We cannot encourage communism or narrow-mindedness. For no nation can be great whose people are narrow in thought or in action. To the nations and peoples of the world, send greetings and pledge ourselves to cooperate with them in furthering peace, freedom and democracy. And India, our much-loved motherland, the ancient, the eternal and the heavenly, we pay our reverend homage and we bind ourselves afresh to her service. While thanking the gold medalist Benjamin Erosian.